you're like me, you'd like to leave this world a little better than you found it. But you know how interconnected and complex things can be. That's why I started making these videos, to try and make some sense out of the big picture, and to find out what I could do to make a positive difference. Welcome to the first episode of Act Local. My name is Ben Connors, and every week I'm going to bring you something you can do to make the world a better place. This week, we're going to attempt to hack a toilet. So this is my bathroom, and this behind me here is the toilet we're going to try and hack. Now we're going to open it up and see if we can't make it a little more water efficient. Now there are a lot of different kinds of toilets, but if you're lucky you've got one like this that has a reservoir. Now this guy fills all the way up with water until it reaches a certain point, and when you flush it, the water comes running out. The secret is that you don't actually need all of that water to flush the toilet, so we're going to try and save a little bit of water on every flush. I have my recycling bin here, and I'm going to pick out some ordinary water bottles, fill them up with water, put them in the tank, and we'll see how we do. Alright, well I saved the water in the bottles, but there wasn't quite enough water in the tank to get it to flush. So I'll let a little water out of one of the bottles, and we'll try again. You're going to have to play around with this to get it right, but fill the bottles all the way up, and then empty a little bit each time. And you'll know you have a good flush when you hear the whole... Nice. So that was pretty easy, but did it really make any difference? It's math time. Bear with me, and I'm going to show you the results. So every time I flush the toilet, I save five cups. There are four people that use this bathroom, and the EPA estimates that average American flushes four times a day, 365 days a year. That works out to 19,200 cups. That's 1,200 gallons of water. According to a part of the government called the U.S. Geological Survey, that's enough fresh water for five people to survive for a whole year. Okay, I admit that there aren't five people drinking out of my toilet every year. But the water I save does help the community and the world. First of all, I save money on utilities. The city saves all the energy it would take to move that water to my house. The ecosystem is better off because there's less wastewater running through all of the fragile habitats. And finally, there's extra water in the reservoir in case of a drought. Now if today were any ordinary day, I'd say that 1,200 gallons of water a year isn't bad savings for 15 minutes. But ladies and gentlemen, today isn't any ordinary day. Today is toilet hacking day. And that means I got one more water saving tip for you. The last thing I'm going to show you this week is how to wash your hands in your toilet. Now it's not what you're thinking. We're going to take the hose that fills the tank and use that to make a sink. So, here are my supplies. I, uh, I found this old piece of wood and the hardware store cut it to my specifications. I have a little bowl to use as a sink and this little guy with holes in it that I can use to uh, as a drain to keep anything from falling out. And I have this guy that, that I also found in a random aisle of the hardware store that I think will work as a pretty good spout. Okay, so let's get started. Perfect fit. Okay, so we're back in the bathroom, and it's time to put it all together. Wait, I need to warn you about two simple things. First of all, when you put your bottles into your reservoir, you've got to make sure that they stay in place or they could cause a leak. I wound up using a hanger and some rubber bands. Now second, when you build your sink, you've got to make sure that all of the water runs down into the reservoir. The water will only turn off when the reservoir fills up. You could flood your whole house if you get that wrong. Okay, proceed. I found my supplies at a local hardware store for about 15 bucks. Now you're not going to have the same supplies, but the concept is really simple. The toilet has a thin plastic hose that fills it with water. I just took the end out, stuffed it into this pipe, and let the water run back down into the reservoir. This toilet has been hacked. So now it's your turn. Go to your recycling bin and get out your water bottles and go hack your toilet. And take some pictures and figure out how much water you're saving and send us an email to ben.actlocal at gmail and we'll post here about all the cool stuff that you're doing. Till next time, this is Ben Connors saying think global and act up. Alright you webhead, what are you waiting for? Close the window. Show's over. Come on, go get those water bottles.